Ladies and gentlemen, live at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Massachusetts. Today is Thursday, December 2nd, 2021, and we are just about ready to start off our 2021 MIAA Division I Football State Championship between Central Catholic and Central High School. Central Catholic kicks off first, and it will be the Eagles that will be receiving off. There is a flag on the play to start it off. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are having a very big matchup between Massachusetts Powerhouse. And with that penalty being said, they will be taking the ball on the 35. All right, so now, one of the biggest games of all of these kids' careers here at Gillette Stadium. The first down will be on the 35, and it will be William Watson, the junior, being the head of the offense. Watson calls for the snap, gives it to the handoff. Great run on that first snap for Tariq Thomas. And for the Eagles, it was a six yard gain from Tariq Thomas that will bring up second and four. And now they're gonna wanna move the chains and just keep it going. Get some momentum going against this great defense that the Raiders have displayed throughout the season. Only one regular season loss for the Raiders. And now Watson with the quick pass out the backfield. Just getting the first down for the Eagles was Tykerion Daniels. So now for the Eagles, they'll be able to move the chains, get that first down, and get a new set of downs to keep it going. You look at the Eagles this year, and they have been very solid with getting off their big games throughout the last uh, nine games of the season. They've had a lot of big point differentials. And back to the field, a big handoff for the Eagles. Breaks it free and getting a first down, and then some was Tariq Thomas. So a big one for him right there, and that will once again get a nice fresh set of downs for the Eagles, and that was exactly what they wanted to start off this game. And just what a run right there for Thomas. We're seeing right now for the Eagles, they are very invested in their backfield. Not worrying too much about the deep ball. And again, a handoff to Tariq Thomas. Rips down the middle, gets the first down, and then some. The run game working well for the Eagles once more. And you know what they say, if it isn't broke, do not fix it. There currently is a timeout. And they will get right back into it with this fresh set of downs. First and 10 on the 18 yard line. Central approaching the red zone. Watson with Thomas in the backfield once more. Calls for the snap. Another handoff to Thomas. Thomas taken down quickly, but also gets a nice little rush down the middle. Number 55 on the so now for the Eagles, it will be second and four on a six yard gain. Ball on the 12 yard line, moving closer and closer to the house. Watson again, handoff to Thomas as he's able to get that first down, I believe. Still looking at what they say. It is third and one, just short. So now they're gonna have to make sure that they can convert here. Because you do not want to lose points in the red zone. We see Watson with a quick handoff right down the middle again. 
We'll wait for the signal and it will be a first down once more from a Thomas Carey. Well, the Eagles this year, they have really been able to get that offense moving. We've seen a lot of great plays from junior quarterback William Watson this year, 22 total touchdowns on the season with about 2,026 yards just in the passing game. We've seen his arm improve tremendously and also, of course, he's got the wheels. But now Watson on the snap. Again, hand off to Thomas. This time they are there. So that will be bringing up another set for them. So it'll be on the line of scrimmage for second and 10 for the Eagles. Second and seven, correct that. As he just got a couple yards right there. We see not too much passing for the Eagles right now as they have been very solid with the run game. But now Watson leveling it out deep. Waiting for the signal, no good. Incomplete pass on that second down. He was intending for Joseph Griffin. But now that will bring up third down for the Eagles. Well, it wouldn't have been a shock if that pass was complete. Wide receiver Joe Griffin has been very solid this year on being William Watson's go-to target with 11 touchdowns on the season. Now third and seven for the Eagles. They want to get a touchdown here. Watson looking out. Pass over the head of Tykerion Daniels. Incomplete. And so now that will bring up fourth down for the Eagles. Fourth and seven here. We'll see what the Eagles' decision is. See if the field goal unit comes out, but most likely not. You want to start off with a bang here. And going for it will be obviously a risk, but the reward is much bigger. Watson set for the snap, going for it on fourth down. Calls for it, gives the fake handoff right down the middle. William Watson to the house for six. The Eagles starting off strong as junior William Watson doing something very familiar to us, going straight to the house. On a nice handoff fake to Tariq Thomas, Watson able to split right down the middle to go in for six. And that's the start that the Eagles needed, but also wanted. Now the Eagles going for two. And the two point conversion is good. Kymeri Latney was able to get it in there and now the Eagles are up eight to zero. So a great offensive drive for the Eagles. The sequence that they wanted but also needed, like I mentioned earlier, they started off with that run game and once again finished with the run game. Watson made some great play calls in that fake end around QB keeper, leading him to go straight into the end zone for a very nice start here at the MIAA D1 Football State Championship. And now for the Eagles, they will be getting ready to kick it off. And the Raiders will be looking to have their first possession of the ball game. And for the Eagles, it was Bryce Gentry Warwick with the squib and a Nice return for the Raiders as they will take over in some nice territory for sure. And that was Preston Zinter for the Raiders. Well, the Raiders this year, as I touched earlier, have been having a phenomenal season with an overall record of 14-1 and a league record of 5-0. Central Catholic will take their first time out. 
And now 7.46 to go in the first quarter. Ball on the 45. The Raiders are ready to take it over. It's Aiden Pereira for the Raiders in the backfield on the snap. A nice little pass right there to their running back. And a great sequence of a run right there from number 34, Matthias Latham. So now for the Raiders, they start off hot with a nice first down and then some. Once again, Matthias Latham with that reception out the backfield to get a nice rush for them. Pereira on the snap. Backing out, but now looking forward, throws it for a complete pass to the receiver for the Raiders and another first down for them. However, he is on the ground. That was Preston Zinter on the reception. He is up, and what a great play right there from Aiden Pereira, alleviating from the traffic, finding the open receiver, but a big hit from Central. That was Kymeri Latney on that big tackle right there. And now again for the Raiders, once again first down, they are on the 23. Pereira in the backfield with Latham. He's going to give the handoff to Latham as he gets a nice couple yards on that run. And so now that will be second and eight for the Raiders. Now for the Raiders this year, they have had very good record in continuing to win, but there is another run again for Latham. Third down. So that'll be third down for the Raiders as they are obviously going to want to convert here. But in good territory for sure. But as I was saying this year, the Raiders started with two close wins and a big loss. Then they won out by 17 plus points and they avenged their only loss in their first playoff game against St. John's Prep. But now back to the field, it's Pereira on the snap. Pereira is going to QB keep it. And he gets stopped quickly as he gets a couple yards on that. And a big stop for the Eagles right there. So that's gonna bring up fourth down for the Raiders. And on the nice stop for the Eagles, that was a huge tackle. That was number 54, Messias Lee. So now fourth and seven for the Raiders. They're gonna keep that unit out there. See what they can do. Fourth and seven, ball on the 20. Coach Chuck Adamopoulos has hope in his Raiders on this first drive. Pereira on the snap, moving to the right. Floating it up deep and just out of the range of number 11, Preston Zinter. And so that will be a turnover on downs for the Raiders and a tremendous stop for the Central High School Golden Eagles. And now they get the ball back. Big takeover. And real, real nice defensive positioning right there. But now here's the thing, when, you, when you're watching football, you'll see that sometimes teams really won't go for field goals when they're close to the red zone, and this is a good reason to do so. I'm gonna risk that seven points over the three. If, even if I fail, they're gonna be back where I'd be kicking it. So Central in somewhat scary field position on the 20, and now the Raiders are gonna have to come up with a big stop but there's Watson in the backfield calling for the snap. He's gonna fake the handoff, has the drop back, has time, floats it out deep, just out of the reach for Kevin Jackson. That would have been a huge reception and a huge play for them to move them across the 50. Pass incomplete and it will bring up second and 10. Watson had to get rid of the ball with that pressure coming towards him and just a little bit of an overthrow. So now second and 10 again. Four minutes and 54 seconds to go in the first quarter for the Eagles. 
now for the Eagles, this will be the third consecutive season of football that they have played at Gillette Stadium. And if they win, it will be their third consecutive win. So we can only imagine how Coach Baltimore Brower is putting the pressure on these kids. And now Watson scrambling now. Pressure towards him, brushes off the tackle. He's gonna try to run and he's stacked big time. Big stop for the Raiders. And that was a huge stop from Sean Mercury. Big stop for the Raiders, bringing up third down for them. And now, as I was saying, Coach Baltimore Brower has to have a lot of pressure on these students and athletes and seeing what they, they can do and how they have started off. It's, it's, it's got to be up from here. They've been playing great, but now on a third down and 17, Watson in the backfield. Nice pass right to Joseph Grissin, Griffin as he is taken down right Watson's before the first down. But as I was mentioning earlier, that duo connection of Joseph Griffin and William Watson, very familiar, very effective. And now bringing up fourth down, they are closer than they were before, thanks to that huge reception. So now Watson getting ready to call for the snap on fourth down. Seems as a bit of miscommunication or maybe an audible. Fourth and short, Watson on the snap, handoff, and he stopped instantly. A great stop for the Raiders as Tariq Thomas was taken down before the line of scrimmage. And a big stop from Michael Brown of the Central Catholic Raiders as they now take over in phenomenal ball territory here on the 27. First and down for them, and they're gonna need to capitalize and get up on the board here tonight. 3.07 to go in the first quarter, and the Raiders once again have the opportunity to take the ball into the house. And now Pereira on the snap, quick fake, nice pass. Find out deep for a touchdown for the Raiders. That was to number 17, Ty Canisteraro. What a touchdown for the Raiders. And that's the electricity that these young men want here in Gillette Stadium, home of the New England Patriots. Just a phenomenal outing right there on the first play of the drive. They find the end zone. Just an incredible performance right there from that Raiders offense. Canestrero coming in clutch on that reception, but also props to Pereira on making it happening. And now they're gonna go for it to tie it up. That two point conversion is now Pereira. Quick pass right out again for the Raiders. And that was Justice McGrail to convert for them. Now tie game, and here is. Big ball game now, tied 8-8, 301 to go in the first quarter here at Gillette Stadium for the boys D1 football state championship. Commentating games like this is always a lot of fun being here at such a glorious stadium where the New England Patriots play. But I must say, playing must be an even better experience for these young men here at the young ages of you know 16 to 19 years old, 18 years old. And being able to play at the home of maybe their favorite team in this championship, just incredible. So now the Raiders set to kick off. Eagles ready to return. For the Eagles, it's Daniels set in the back to return, and that's just gonna get booted back for a touchback. So now the Eagles will play it safe, not even go for the return. Take off in solid territory on the 20. 
And after that defensive possession right there for the Eagles, letting up a touchdown on the first drive, I mean on the first play, they'll obviously want to redeem themselves offensively and get back into it. What was a solid drive previously, a great reception by Joe Griffin, ultimately led in a turnover on downs, but it was, it, it was a difficult drive right there, but they are looking to recuperate and restart. Watson set for the snap, fakes the handoff, quick to Daniels. Daniels incomplete pass, couldn't hold on to it. So now that will bring up second and 10 for the Eagles as there seemed to be somewhat of a miscommunication between Watson and Daniels. Once again, ball on the 20 yard line. The Eagles on second and 10. Watson with the snap on the drop back. Slinging it out straight to Griffin. Pass is complete, but kind of stopped instantly, so he wasn't able to get any yards after reception. Once again, Joseph Griffin bringing it in for the reception. So now third and one for the Eagles. They're gonna need a big play right here, but of course, if they can't get it here, they will definitely go for it. But you wanna always get it Get that first down as quick as you can. Watson gonna drop back quickly, but the nice handoff right there to Tariq Thomas. Flag thrown on the play. There will be a penalty against the Eagles. It will be holding, so that first down will be brought back and it will end up being third and 10. or they will bring the ball back, so it's looking like third and one. So now for the Eagles, third and 11. The scoreboard once again corrected. 2.10 to go in the first quarter. Third and 11 on the 19. They're gonna need to convert here. They don't wanna be put in another fourth down predicament. So this is a big play right here for the Eagles. Watson calls for the snap, looking to pass. Steps away from the pressure, throws it out. Beautiful pass and an even better reception from number nine, Kevin Jackson. And that will be a first down for the Eagles. That is exactly what they need. Ball moving now on the 41 and the Eagles are moving the chains. So now again, for the Eagles, you wanna get into that end zone, obviously, but just get into that territory where if you are not able to convert, the def I mean, the defense is gonna to have to come offensively in a bad territory. You don't want them to start off on the 20. So where they are now, they want to get at least a couple more first downs, but of course prioritize the touchdown. Watson on the snap, hands it off to the backfield, and there is a nice little run from Tariq Thomas again as he breaks even. And they'll bring up second down for the Eagles on a gain of four. So it'll be second and six for the Eagles with less than a minute to go in the first quarter. Ball on the 45, looking to slow that offensive down. That offensive pace, take their time and obviously ultimately get in the end zone. So now Watson on the quick pass again. The Jets after that reception as he gets a first down and then some Tykerion Daniels showcasing his wheels right there. The run fake pass quickly out the backfield or past the backfield I should say as Daniels was able to get that first down and then some huge for the Eagles. They are now on the 36, first and 10, less than 30 seconds to go in the first quarter. Now for the Eagles this year, they have had a very consistent backfield outing, whether it be Tykerian Daniels or Tariq Thomas. And of course, William Watson can run on his own as well. So just great running for the Eagles. Watson, quick pass to Brendan Guy as he gets the first down for the Eagles. Big play for the Eagles as they can haul that in. And a nice reception from Brendan Guy, of course, as well. 
So now on that first down, that will end the first quarter. Score eight to eight. After 12 minutes here at Gillette, the Eagles started off solid with a nice touchdown fake from Watson as he faked the run handoff and the QB keeper. And then for the Raiders, they had a big touchdown play previously. After they had gone out, they stopped the Eagles. And on that first play, Pereira slaying in a great touchdown for the Raiders. And I mean, looking back at that play for the Raiders, it was very, very impressive for sure as how quickly they were able to get into that situation. And so now, after the cheerleaders are off the field, the Eagles will take the field again and look to continue this drive. And obviously, they want to finish with some points for sure. And again now, that previous play from Ty Canestrero, the reception on the pass from Aiden Pereira. Just a beautiful display of accuracy for the Raiders. Now for the Eagles, they will be starting off on the 21. Here to start off the second quarter. First and 10 after the Brendan Guy reception for the first down, so they have a fresh set of downs. Players getting into position, and getting ready for the snap to start off the second quarter. Watson alone in the backfield on the snap. Quick pass attempt to Griffin, it is good. Griffin breaks off the tackle and another, but ultimately taken down. But a nice reception for the Eagles. That will bring up second down, but just short. So a nice stop for the Raiders, but it took a couple guys to do so. Ultimately, it seemed like Colton Williams was the one who took down Griffin. So now second and one, Watson has help in the backfield. On the snap, with the handoff, he sneaks it out to the left, and a nice run for Tariq Thomas again, as he breaks free, gets that first down, and then stopped right before he touches the house. So that'll bring up first down for the Eagles as they are within the 10. So first and goal will be brought up for the Eagles. And a nice little sweep right there for Tariq Thomas as he was able to read the, the line very well and just get free for a little. And now Watson on the handoff to Thomas again as he once again reads the blocking and runs it into the house. Tariq Thomas with a huge touchdown for the Eagles as they put six more on the scoreboard and just another key run for them. And as I was touching on it previously, Thomas showcasing some great IQ as he read that perfectly, avoiding the middle, sweeping around to the right and going straight to the house into the red zone or into the end zone, I should say. So 14-8 updated score now going for that two-point conversion again. Looking to get that QB keeper run in. Looking for the announcement. It is no good. So that was an attempt from Kamari Latney. No good. 14-8 will be the score again. So now the Raiders, they have the ability to take the lead on this next possession putting central defense up to the test. Once again in the second quarter here at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Massachusetts for the men's D1 football state championship on the evening of December 2nd, 2021. It feels good. It really feels good to be back here not only at Gillette, but just in the booth announcing for Focus Springfield. 
So now again, back to the field for the Eagles. Kicking off will be number 25, Bryce Gentry Warwick. As the kick is set off in a big boot for Warwick. As the reception is off from the 20. And what a big run as he spin moves his way around a couple times as that was Marcus Bridgewater. But there is a flag on the play. We'll wait for the ref's announcement. So a big play right there. Unfortunately brought back a little as there was holding on the return. So they'll be starting a lot, a lot before where they got it, you know. Instead of close to the 40, they'll be on the 17. So of course those kickoff penalties are very obnoxious and annoying to the players, but now they're gonna have to play around it. First down for the Raiders, Pereira on the snap, quick pass, just gets over the line of scrimmage on a huge stop for the Central High School Golden Eagles. And again, just a quick reception, barely a yard gain. And it seemed like that was Zinter. That was Preston Zinter on the reception. And then a handoff as he breaks a couple tackles and stays up, the whole team finally able to stop them as Matthias Latham is able to get that first down for them. So first and 10 for the Raiders as there was a swarm of Central High School players that took him down, but it seemed like Messias Lee who ultimately got him there. So now first and 10 on the 29. Snap, QB keeper, it's Pereira who gets a big little run right there and he's ultimately taken down after getting that first down, but a nice scramble for the QB. And now first down for the Raiders. They'll move the chains up a little more. Ball on the 44 now. Once again, score 14 to eight here in the second quarter. Pereira on the snap, looking to throw it out deep. Just overthrown a little. Target was number 17, Ty Canestrero. So that's gonna bring up second and 10 for the Raiders. Pereira back to the field, speaking with coach, maybe thinking that over, going over a few options for this next play for second and 10. Once again, on the 44, has help in the backfield if he's looking for a handoff. Pereira sets for the snap. He's gonna QB keep again, stopped almost abruptly, as that will end up bringing up third down. Pereira was stopped on the QB keeper for a gain of about a yard. And that was Messias Lee again with a stop, but again a swarm of central players to stop the QB keeper. So third and nine for the Raiders. They're gonna want a big play right here. Capitalize on this moment. Pereira with help again from Latham. He's gonna keep it. Pereira looking to scramble out, but he stopped big time. Messias Lee again, all over. The QB in a big stop as that'll bring up fourth down for the Raiders. Fourth down and 15 for the Raiders. Don't mind that fourth and 55. The scoreboard is incorrect on that one. But fourth and 15 for the Raiders after a huge stop from Messias Lee. The Raiders set to punt. And a nice little boot right there. And it's, there's gonna be a flag down as not only the ball hit a Raiders player, 
but contact on Tykerion Daniels before he received the ball. So we'll wait for the final decision, of course, but I think we are familiar with what will be called. Flag on the return. Or I should say on the punt. I'm just waiting for the referee's decision on this. Once again, eight minutes left in the first half. Referee's decision is in. So I believe that was on Central Catholic. Um, it was on Central Catholic. And so a little confused for a second. Wasn't sure what Central he was talking about, but we got that all figured out. So the penalty against Central Catholic. Central will have that beneficial towards them. They'll take over on the 38. Thanks to the penalty. And now first and 10 for the Eagles. They're gonna get another opportunity to score here or at least just move the ball forward. Watson on the snap. Quick toss and it's an incomplete pass. Incomplete pass, thankfully not intercepted. <laughs> and Watson looked like he was intending that for Daniels, but just a little too high up. And a nice defensive presence for the Raiders right there. So second and 10 for the Eagles. Watson with help again in the backfield from Thomas. And there's gonna be a penalty. Most likely offsides. And Grochman on the defense. So second and five, but the advantage is there for the Eagles as they get five free yards. After the incomplete pass from Watson, he'll be able to capitalize on that penalty. 7.56 to go in the first half. 14 to eight, the Eagles leading the Raiders. Watson with Thomas in the backfield. He's gonna give the handoff right to him. And a great run again from Thomas as he has been very, very solid right now throughout these first two quarters. He's made some great ball carrying decisions and has been able to get to the house and ultimately put the Eagles on top right now. So just overall an outstanding performance from Thomas. Now Watson has him in the backfield again, of course. That's a familiar sight for the Eagles as I was mentioning between Tykeri and Daniels and Tariq Thomas. Daniels, obviously more of a backfield option if they're going for a quick wheel route or any type of backfield reception. But Watson set for the snap. On the handoff to Thomas, reading perfectly, getting some yards, but a nice stop from the Raiders as that was number 29, Quentin Delory, with a nice tackle to bring him down quickly. So second and seven after the three yard gain from Thomas. Will be interesting to see what the Eagles will do right here. Maybe switch it up as right now it's looking like nobody in the backfield for Watson. We'll see their stars all lined up. Thomas sitting out, but we do see Daniels lined up. Watson alone on the snap. He's gonna QB keep it. Brushes off that tackle or would seem to be a drag, but there is a flag. So holding on the offense, ultimately negatively affecting Central High School. They will obviously want to avoid that for future plays. So now second and 17 on that 10 yard penalty for the Eagles. They're gonna need a big play right here, but you can't count them out for that because of course they have great deep throw accuracy. We'll see what Watson is looking for right here, but it's most likely going to be a pass. However, flags on the play. Watson now throwing it out deep to Brendan Guy on a big time reception. Very hard to bring him down and ultimately a huge play for the Eagles, but there are flags on the play. The 
So big penalty on the offense right there as that is gonna be obviously ruled back. That completed pass doesn't count. Second and 22 and they're gonna need another play like that to get them rolling. Second and 22, six minutes to go in the first half. 14 to eight, your score, and ball is on the 40. The Eagles obviously needing to think this through and go for an efficient play to get the ball rolling. Do not wanna be in this area. Watson on the snap. Nice pass to Griffin. Griffin finds a little gap in the middle, getting a first down and then some. Huge play for the Eagles right there as Griffin was able to capitalize on the slipping defender and now first down and 10, ball on the 20. Central Catholic takes another timeout. And again, just once more looking at that play, Watson finding Griffin on a beautiful route but also just a great run after the reception. Just a great run. And that will bring up first down as they were able to escape the obstacles that were thrown at them. Multiple penalties. Multiple penalties for the Eagles. And now um, after this timeout, they're gonna have more momentum. First and 10. So after that time out, Eagles ready to take over again. First and 10. With 5.50 to go in the first half. You are watching Focus Springfield here at Gillette Stadium. First and 10 to the 20. And now once more, first and 10. Watson has help in the backfield. Getting ready for the snap. Calls it. Keeps it, throws it out to Daniels. Touchdown, Central. On a huge reception from Ty Carrion Daniels. The connection from Watson to Daniels is good again throughout the season. 20 to eight, your updated score. And a huge play for the Eagles. And again, just credit to Watson on a nice pass. But a great catch again. Six points more for the Eagles. And they'll go for that two-pointer. Again, we'll see Latney out there. Latney with the Derrick Henry looking throw. As a great two-point conversion. Pass collected to Josiah Griffin. And what I was talking about was that Derrick Henry shovel pass that he did in the AFC playoffs against the Ravens a couple years ago. That was that little reference. But anyway, once again, you are watching Focus Springfield here for the MIAA D1 Football State Championships. I am Ciro Zanetti. Big shout out to Alejandro Cameron and Brendan Holland for making this all possible. And once again, being here feels great. Obviously, with COVID being a very unsettling presence throughout all of our lives throughout the last year and a half, two years, being able to do what I love more than anything feels phenomenal. And again, for these students that are able to play the game they love once more after there was really no season last year, it is just great to see. So now again for the Eagles off the kickoff. A nice kick. That was Warwick. And now on the return is Bridgewater. Bridgewater stopped practically right before the 20, but they might end up giving him a couple yards. So Bridgewater gets a little return for the Raiders. Ball will take place on the 20. 5.35 to go in the first half. A phenomenal start for your Springfield Central High School Golden Eagles, but do not count the Raiders out yet. Not only is this game only starting, but we have seen them be able to take control in a nice little tap off handoff for the Raiders. 
as it seems as if they've got that first down on lock and a nice run from Ty Canisterero. As I was mentioning, this Raiders offense has a lot of tricks up their sleeve, but also just great plays to go right to whenever they need it. On their touchdown drive, it was one play. They don't need a long drive. If you give them the ability, they will take control of that. And now a beautiful fake handoff as Nathaniel Ochoa will take that for a nice little gain of yards. But I gotta praise right there, Aiden Pereira on the fake for sure. That was a great fake. So again, Nathaniel, or sorry, Natel Ochoa. Natel Ochoa. Sorry for the butchering. Natel Ochoa on the run. Gain of four. Second and six. Pereira in the backfield. Throws it out. Nice reception. And he hits his man, Ty Canestrero, again for a Raiders first down. So now first and 10 for the Raiders. They are moving the ball efficiently. Ball on the 50 yard line. First and 10. 4.36 to go in the first half. Pereira on the snap. Gives the handoff to Bridgewater as he is stopped quickly. And that was a big stop right there for Gentry Warwick. So Bryce Gentry Warwick gets a great stop, but he's also been great with his legs today. Some nice kicks for the Eagles off the kickoff. Second and 11 for the Raiders after the big stop. Pereira is gonna keep it, and he stopped quickly again. The swarm of central players coming up clutch, but again, Gentry Warwick with another stop for the Eagles. So now third and 11 for the Raiders, 3.35 to go in the first half. Score 22 to eight. The Central Golden Eagles up, but the Raiders still have a chance to lower that margin, shrink that deficit. Third and 11, Pereira on the snap in the backfield, scrambling out, looking for his target, but it's looking like there might be a pass interference. We'll have to wait, there's a flag on the play. Also saw Coach Valdemar Brower with his hands being <laughs> showcased on that incomplete pass, but we'll wait for the flag to be addressed. Holding on the defense. 10 yard penalty, third down. So that will be huge for the Raiders as that will put them in very nice positioning. So it'll be third and about one. Ball on the 41. The Raiders are in good position right here. Obviously you want to kind of approach a third and one as secure as you can. So running the ball can always be your best friend. But definitely off a handle. We'll see what they choose to do. Pereira, QB keeper. Instead, he's going to split it down and get a first down for the Raiders. First and 10 for the Raiders again. Ball moved a little more forward. As about three minutes left to go in the first half, we have seen a very entertaining first half here between the Eagles and the Raiders. An offensive clinic overall as we're seeing great passing plays and great running plays. A little confusion on the field right there for the Eagles, but they'll continue. Pereira set for the snap, gives the handoff on the back triple option, but a huge stop ultimately as that was Matthias Latham who handed it off quickly. But Kaimari Latney with a big stop for the Eagles for a loss of yards on that one. They tried the little triple option, and they weren't able to excel it. 
So that will bring up second down and then some for the Raiders. It's looking like second and 21, or second and 19, sorry. Pereira on the snap, calls for it. It's gonna drop back, slinging it out deep. Beautiful pass, but pass incomplete. It was intended for number 14, Justice McGrail, but he could not haul it in. That'll bring up third and 19. And that's just a huge play for the Raiders that they needed to make. And that could have easily, I mean, without a doubt, they would have been in end zone, red zone territory. But if he had the momentum from it on that catch of his feet were playing, that could have been a touchdown. So obviously not the play they were looking for, third and 19. At this point, you go deep again. So now Pereira alone in the back. Getting ready for the snap. Pereira drops back, avoiding pressure. Just throwing it out of bounds to be safe. And that will bring up fourth and 19. The central defense has been solid right now as they are just doing a phenomenal showing of getting to the quarterback and demonstrating pressure. So with a minute and 48 to go in the first half, fourth and 19. This is gonna be a huge, huge stop for the Eagles. As they're set to punt it out. Whistle's now blown. And the Central High School Golden Eagles will call a timeout. And again, now we can go over that. Fourth and 19 for the Raiders. Ball on the 47. Less than two minutes to go in the first half, and your score is 22 to eight. Eagles up, Raiders down right now. So we'll see how they recuperate and recover. Brower's defense has been playing very good right now as they can just continue to stop the Raiders. But now as they come back, we'll see as it looks like they have their special teams unit out and Daniels will be set to return the punt for the Eagles. So fourth and 19, punt unit is out, special teams unit is out as well. So now getting ready for the snap. We'll see what they choose to do. Flag on the play. Punt is up in the air. And this is a nice punt. And the Raiders save it out. And there's gonna be another flag on the field. We'll see what the call is. The special teams unit has been very flag heavy these past two quarters. These first two quarters, I should say. And so obviously we'll wait for the penalty to be announced as there seems to be confusion throughout the referees. So a minute and 37 to go. We'll wait and see if there is any penalties against Central that will affect them negatively. But at this point, if you're the Eagles, you just want the ball in your hands and just close out this first half. Discussion continuing, and again, I just want to give a big shout out to my friends that are helping me out at Focus. Alejandro Cameron and Brendan Holland, the guys who make these videos possible and these gigs possible. So there's going to be a re-kick for the Raiders. Hopefully getting the Eagles in better ball territory as those two penalties will ultimately help 
the Central High School Golden Eagles. So fourth and 29. A big stop from the Eagles and then also penalties helping them. We see the special teams unit out for both teams as this punt is ready to be re-kicked. And so the punt is out. And it will be stopped at about the 20 yard line. So the Eagles will take over in solid ball territory. So ball on the 23, first and 10, a minute and 26 to go for the Eagles. This is where you either take it very cautious or you just attack the house and you look to do whatever you can to get some last minute points on. We'll see what approach they go for, but I think it's gonna be that second one. Watson calling for the snap. Nice little pass out to the backfield as Thomas has stopped quickly and a great defensive presence from the Raiders right there. So Thomas again gets the reception, but it will be for a loss of four yards, second and 14 for the Eagles. So now this is the territory you don't want to be if you're the Eagles and you're not able to make any offensive momentum. Now Watson scrambling out to the right. He's going to keep it. Gets past the line of scrimmage, so now it's third and even again. So a nice little play and a QB keeper from him to get them back where they started. And a little bit of chitter chatter right there from the head coach, Adamopoulos and William Watson. Always nice to see that. So now third down. Third and eight for the Eagles as Watson was able to break more than even. However, there is a assumed injury on the field. We see number 29, Quentin Delory down. So we'll obviously pray that he is all right and can get back in the game as soon as possible. Injuries are never fun. And they are certainly not fun during a game like this. So hoping he can brush that off and get back into the game and play. All right, so now third and eight for the Eagles. 51 seconds remaining in the first half. Score 22 to eight, ball on the 25. Watson on the snap. Watson drop back, finds his man. Nice pass, there is a flag on the play after the reception right there. And that was a nice little gain from Matthias Barber. But before we can confirm that first down from Matthias Barber, we'll have to see the flags. A lot of flags, especially in this quarter right here. So we'll have to see what they decide on the flag. But again, for the Eagles, that would have been a big first down for them to kind of move the chains before the quarter ends. Adamopoulos confronting the refs. So the flag might end up being in the Eagles' favor, but we'll have to wait and see for that one. Now, as I was touching earlier, uh, when this game did first start, uh, we seen that the Central Catholic Raiders really had a dominant season. We have two penalties. Two penalties. Yes. On the offense, that's the time. We lost that pass interference. On the offense, we'll have the distance. Third down. So that will push them back a lot farther than they want. So now a deep third down reception will be ruled back. 
and now they're brought back to third and 21. Terrible ball positioning for the Eagles. They are obviously gonna want to do their best to just move it downfield. Watson, he's gonna need to throw it deep. He's got the time. Maybe a little far out as that was intended for Kevin Jackson. But again, for the Eagles, that will be fourth and 21. You're gonna need to bring that special teams units out. You don't wanna give the Raiders the ball with 35 seconds on their own 20, that's for sure. So now fourth and 21, both special team units are out. So looking like Brendan Guy will be punting it. Let's see the boot. And it gets to about the 45 and the fair catch is ruled. Fair catch is ruled. So now the Raiders will get the ball again. 28 seconds to go. As it was a nice punt from Brendan Guy, kind of chewed some seconds off the clock. They've got about a 50 yard drive, 43 exactly to get into the end zone. They're gonna have to have some big plays. With 28 seconds, we'll see Pereira in the backfield calling for a motion. He's gonna just do a quick handoff as he gets a couple yards once again to Matthias Latham. And it looks like the Eagles have recovered. A huge fumble recovery as that was Quadir Price. As we'll look at that replay, I didn't even notice that. Latham looked to have lose control of it and Price just fiercely trying to poke it out, and they recover. So that was exactly what the Eagles want right there, shutting down any possibility, at least, you know, knock on wood for the Eagles, of letting the Raiders score before the second half approaches. 21 seconds. You might want to play it safe, but again, we'll see what they do. 21 seconds to go in the first half. Watson on the snap, QB keeper. He's gonna take it for his own as he's gonna slide. And now 14 seconds, there's another flag on the play. We'll see what that is ruled. Now this is almost like a Packers game. And the offense is called for another penalty so at this point, I mean, you might want to just kneel it and let it be, just go into the second half. But as I was saying, just a lot of penalties in this first half. So first and 14 for the Eagles. 14 seconds to remain in the first half. And now Watson close to the center, and he's just going to kneel it. That's probably the most appropriate thing to do. And that will wrap up the first half. Ladies and gentlemen, we have watched a very entertaining first half of 2021's MIAA Division I Football State Championship between the Raiders and the Eagles. This is Ciro Zanetti. You are watching Focus Springfield, and we will be back shortly after the half. Ladies and gentlemen, we are returning from the first half. Halftime is over, second and a half, back in action. Once again, 22 to eight, your score. Central High School Golden Eagles up top, Catholic trailing. You are tuned into Focus Springfield and this is Ciro Zanetti. That 12 minute clock set to start as kickoff for the second half is getting ready. We'll see again. On the kickoff is Bryce Gentry Warwick.
kicks it out to a nice distance as Bridgewater set to return it, reads the blocks, edges out to the left, and he is brought out of bounds. Little past the 30. So the Raiders, them receiving, getting the ball to start off the second half is huge. They're gonna wanna have obviously a huge drive here but they'll be starting on the 33, thanks to a nice return from Bridgewater. So now, for the Raiders. Set to snap is Pereiro. He does the QB keeper again as he gets about five yards-ish, maybe a little more on the run. As Pereira's been doing a great job running for the Raiders. He's also thrown some pretty nice deep balls, for sure. So now second and four off the six yard gain from Pereira. We'll see what he does. Hand off quickly. And so now with Latham's yard gainage, it will bring up third down and one for the Raiders. So third and one ball on the 42. Pereira has help in the backfield again, of course, and we'll see what happens. QB keeper, as he is good for that first down, I believe. Correct, he gets that first down, and a nice little QB keeper as it comes to save the day again for the Raiders. It was Griffin on the stop for the Eagles. So now the Raiders, this is one of their most important drives in my opinion because you want to build momentum coming out for the half. And Pereira, nice pass. It is complete, thrown out to Andrew Lasovsky. And that will be a first down and then some for the Raiders. Move the chains, keep that ball rolling and start that momentum. It seems like it might be an annoying favorite word of mine at this point, but it's just true. You want to be able to find comfort in your game, especially in a team sport like this, and being able to get that game plan going and reaching the end zone, that's what you want. So now ball on the 39. First and 10 for the Raiders. Pereira on the snap, drops back, looking to make a big target deep, overthrows it, and that will bring up second down for the Raiders. Now it's... It seems like that was for Lasovsky. And now, second and 10 for the Raiders. They're gonna get another opportunity. The deep ball is, of course, a great game to play, but you wanna make sure you're not overthrowing it because you do not want to throw an interception. We saw Christopher Winslow was very close on that one. And now Latham, on the run, gets a nice, comfortable gain right there. as that will now be third down. And as, as we're seeing for the Eagles, their D-line has been remarkable this game. The run game has been able to produce something. However, a lot of their runs have been monitored and spied out well, resulting in either loss of yards or just a very short gain. Third and eight, ball on the 37. Raiders need to convert here. They're gonna drop back. Nice drop back as they get a reception. Latham just gets that first down and that was the play that they needed without a doubt. So now for the Raiders, first down. Fresh set of downs for them. And again, Latham coming up big. There's gonna be a timeout. And there is an injury on the field for the Eagles. Try to find out which player this is. But if, again, injuries are never fun, always annoying, and just 
very frustrating. But during a game like this, it's the last thing you want. For some of these guys, these are the last games of their high school's career. And you want to make sure that you can play your best. And it's looking like that was one of their biggest defensive presence, Messiah Lee, but he's back up. So that is great for him. So now first and 10 for the Raiders. Ball on the 29. Looking to see how they convert on this drive. Again, a huge sequence for them. They are going to need this score to get all momentum back. This is Signal, Pereira on the snap. Pereira looking to throw it out deep. Nice target again, but just a little overthrown. As he was intended for Ty Canestrero. It's no good. Second and 10 comes on up. And I tell you, once they can knock down that deep route connection, it will be very important for them. But as you can see, that ball was without a doubt overthrown and out of reach. So now nine minutes, seven seconds to go in the third quarter. Second and 10, Pereira, quick snap, incomplete on the attempt to Preston Zinter. So now they'll bring up third and 10 again for the Raiders. And just a great defensive stop, but it seemed like Zinter lost balance. So that could have been bad, but thankfully for the Raiders, no pick thrown, just an incomplete pass. Third and 10 brought up, and we'll see what they will do. Maybe resort back to the run game as it has been their only successful attempt this drive. Now again, big pass out deep, waiting for the signal from the referees. It is incomplete. That was for Justice McGrail. Unable to haul it in, and that will bring up fourth and 10 for the Raiders. And I mean, looking back at it, absolutely out of bounds, but still being able to haul it in was extremely impressive from McGrail, without a doubt. So now it's looking like they are going with probably the most necessity-filled play. They're going for it. There is a timeout from Central, Springfield Central. So on this, maybe they want to make sure they have the right set of players out there. Wasn't sure if they were expecting a special teams outing or going for it. But them going for it on fourth and 10 is probably the best thing you can do. You make this you have another opportunity to get that ball into the end zone and get some points up on the board. You do not uh, convert on the fourth down, and the Central Golden Eagles have the ball in a pretty scary territory as is. They'll be on the 30-yard line, and they'll have some length to take for sure. And so as the timeout is winding down, we'll see how this conversion does go for the Raiders. And before this play, we'll shout out Josue from Focus Springfield who always does a great job for us, holding down the fort back in Springfield as we are here at Gillette. Fourth and 10 field goal attempt. Pereira on the snap, quick pass. Pass complete, reaches out, but he loses control of the ball. We'll see what is called there. And it looks like that will be a fumble. Another fumble. So they will give it to completion. So they will take over in a big stop from Christopher Winslow. As now the Eagles first and 10 on the 20. But as I said, now the Eagles are obviously not in ideal territory. So you want to go for it, of course. 
and it's pretty hard to, to punt in that position as they were in. Watson on the snap, give off to Thomas. Thomas reading around, finds his way, flag thrown, couple yard gain to bring up second, but again, another flag. Central called for another penalty, so a 10 yard penalty for the Eagles. It must be frustrating for this offense as it just seems like every single drive that they demonstrate, there is some type of penalty that's putting them into a predicament. They are still up top, and that's what's impressive about it. I mean, they are being put in, they're putting themselves in some pretty unfortunate situations and now they want to definitely make sure that they can get themselves out of this first and 20. Ball on the 10 yard line Watson with help in the backfield on first and 20 calling for an audible pacing around getting ready for the snap calls for it a handoff right there to Thomas. Thomas rips down the middle, keeps his balance. He's going. A swarm of players chasing him, but he gets past the 50. Jukes right, holds his weight up in a huge, huge rush for Tariq Thomas. Not only does he get the first down, but he advances them past the 50 in Central's own territory and just an incredible display of speed and acceleration as he's able to just continue to advance the Eagles down the field. Very entertaining play and also important right there. So now they are in the best position that they want to be right now. Ball on the 35, Watson calls for the snap. He's gonna have another handoff and Daniels That was Ty Carrion Daniels gets the first down, but another flag on the play. And again, Tariq Thomas, just an exceptional running back, as well as Ty Carrion Daniels. But Thomas really playing phenomenal tonight. And another holding for the offense for 10 yards. It's just got to be frustrating. I mean, these are big guys you are looking at. These are big men. This central offensive linemen, those are big men. So those holding calls are, are definitely, I wouldn't say surprising, but it's just, it's, it's unexpected. First and five now, central, they get that penalty. And Daniels again with the handoff. So there will be a first down after that penalty that was actually helpful for the Eagles. Daniel's able to punch it in, get a first down, ball on the 24. 7.20 to go in the third quarter. Score is 22 Eagles, eight Raiders. Central Catholic Raiders with a total score of 14 and one to Central's total uh, record of nine and two, both with five and oh league records. Just two phenomenal teams, and there's a reason why these are the guys that are facing off for the Mass Championship. Division one, state championship, I should say. Watson on the snap, hands it back off to Thomas, and Thomas gets a nice little gain. Nothing too much, but again, a gain. So it's looking like two yards gain for second and eight. Ball on the 23. Now for the season, we've seen a lot of rushing from Central. Tariq, or Tykerion Daniels this year has six rushing touchdowns. We've seen seven from Watson. And then the man himself, Tariq Thomas this year, has 15. So now, a fake handoff, Watson. Quick pass, first down, and again, another flag. So the reception is complete as jo Joseph Griffin is able to haul it in, but again, another penalty. Another penalty against Central.
And as much as they are able to, to work, that definitely was an illegal block in the back for sure. Um, as much as these penalties are being thrown at them, I mean, they are continuing to get that first down, but there's only so much you can do. At this point, the more penalties they get, you're not going to be able to keep getting that first down because it's just going to push you back and back. So you really want to have discipline on these penalties for the Eagles. Second and 15 will be the call. Ball on the 30-yard line. Watson has Thomas in the backfield again. We'll see what they do. Raiders looking for a big defensive stop as Watson calls for the snap. Gives a nice handoff to Thomas again. Tries to avoid the traffic, but ultimately a swarm of Raiders take him down. So now third and 13 will be brought up, and this is where the Eagles are, of course, on paper going to want to throw it. But we'll have to see if maybe they try again with Tariq Thomas because, I mean, how efficient he's been tonight. You can't really expect to change it up that quickly with how great he has been. So now Watson with Thomas in the backfield. In that formation, single back. Watson looking for the pass, avoids the traffic. This is it to Thomas, a beautiful shovel to Thomas as he was in traffic, being attacked from the defense. A little shovel pass right to Thomas as he doesn't get the first down, but that was just impressive to watch. Fourth and four. In this position, you have to go for it. Ball on the 19, Central. If they can score here, this will be huge. Here at Gillette Stadium, the fans roaring. This is that pressure that these young gentlemen will want to face in the future. So now Watson takes it for his own, an incomplete pass on first down. It was out of reach for sure. That was intended for Kevin Jackson, but it looked like he may have been able to haul that in. It's gotta be a heartbreaking sequence right there, especially for Tariq Thomas as he dominated offensively. And then those penalties ultimately became their enemy. And now the Raiders have another opportunity to shorten this deficit and get themselves back in this ball game. 4.35 to go in the third quarter. First and 10, ball on the 19. Pereira on the snap, throws it out to number 14, Justice McGrail. McGrail taken down right after the line of scrimmage, and he got a nice little gain of yardage right there. Bringing up second down for the Raiders. So that'll be second and five, so a nice little gain off the reception for Justice McGrail. Redeeming himself now is McGrail and Pereira again. Raiders looking for single back formation. He's going to keep it for a throw or a keeper. Pereira slinging it out deep to McGrail. McGrail hauls it in for the catch. Reception good and a huge yard gain for the Raiders as Pereira and McGrail more than redeem themselves as the perfect catch and the perfect throw is made for the Raiders. They're now on the 41, and again in single back formation. First and 10, Pereira, quick pass out. Looked for Ty Canestrero, but he's taken down quickly. So there will be a reception on the play. And that will bring up second down. And central defensive back Christopher Winslow has been all over the receivers today. But back to the field, Pereira scrambling on his own, but instead throws it out for an incomplete pass. Didn't really plant his feet, so it was, of course, a rushed sequence. He was intending for Andrew Lasovsky but unfortunately was not able to hit the target. Third and seven, three minutes, nine seconds to go in the third quarter. Score 22 to eight here at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. 
Now both teams familiar to this stadium. But a very important game it is. Pereira, QB keeper. He looks to get more than a first down. Pereira running it to the house, but not quite. Almost straight to the end zone as he gets a big breakaway run right there. And now the Raiders are in perfect territory. First and five. On the five yard line, the Raiders with a huge breakaway rush from Pereira. This is exactly where you wanna be. But a key stop again from Christopher Winslow, the central defensive back, who is also a great track star of his own, showcasing his speed to catch right back up with Pereira. So now, on the snap, it's Latham, but taken down pretty quickly, bringing up second and goal. So Matthias Latham again with a rush. Loss of one. Aaron Jones on the stop for the Eagles. Second and six. Ball on the six. We'll see where they go with this. All receivers lined up in formation. Looking for a running or a passing play. Pereira throws it out perfectly, waiting for the refs. Touchdown, Ty Canestrero again with the touchdown for the Raiders. Canestrero or Canestrero and Pereira again meet each other in the end zone, and that deficit is shortened. Huge play for the Raiders. And now they're gonna look to put it into a one possession lead. As they will go for that two point conversion. 14 to 20, scoot, 14 to 22, <laughs> your score now. But instead of that two point conversion, they will be actually going for the PAT. PAT is good. So now 15 to 22, your updated score after a great drive for the Raiders. Now again, we cannot forget about the penalties that Central have been going through. They are really going to need to definitely shave that out of their game and just play some more efficiently, or uh, play efficiently when it comes to this drive right here. They wanna make sure they don't make these decisions or these plays because the penalties at the end of the day will never help you. So now a minute and 44 to go in the third quarter. 15 to 22 once more is your score here at Gillette Stadium for the MIAA Division I Football State Championship between Springfield Central High School Golden Eagles out of Springfield, Mass. and Central Catholic High School Raiders out of Lawrence, Mass. So now the kickoff is set. And for the Eagles, the return by Daniels is looking very solid right now as he's getting to the 30, to the 20, to the 10, to the house. A kickoff return touchdown for Tykerion Daniels. But there is a flag on the play. and it is on Central. So that is brought back, and it just has to be a heartbreak for them on this illegal block in the back. Let's see where. It, I, so for the Eagles, that touchdown ruled back. It has to be a heartbreaker for sure for Tykerion Daniels. I mean, just to even hit the end zone in Gillette Stadium is phenomenal, but it looks like that that uh, tackle in the back was definitely right where that ball is, about that 50, so they'll still have solid field positioning. So the Eagles, like I was saying, they have to just be better with the penalties. They have to be a lot more smarter and just think to win. So right now, first and 10, ball on the 48. They just gave a touchdown up. 
they want to get back into this and score one of their own. Watson fakes the handoff. QB keeper. Almost a loss of yards, but just reaches past the line of scrimmage. And that'll be a second and nine. So less than two minutes to go in the third quarter. This might be a good time to kind of just let the clock run, maybe get a first down in this drive, I mean in this quarter, but also let it, let it run a little. You want to take your time going into that final quarter. Watson in the backfield. Incomplete pass as he throws a little too low. And that will be third and nine. As I was saying, you really just want to take your time in this situation. You've got a whole minute that you can honestly rip in just two plates. So right here, that incompletion could come back to them if they cannot convert around here. So third and nine, 53 seconds to go in the third quarter. The Eagles need a first down. Watson to drop back, pressure alleviating, another flag on the play. And he's throwing it out deep. Pass complete to Brendan Guy in the end zone. But again, another flag on the play. So again, it looks like Brendan Guy right now is just, he is having a phenomenal record with himself catching the ball and getting a huge gain for the Eagles. But both huge receptions he's had have been called back due to penalties. So let's hope that this one isn't another case of that. We'll see what the penalty is. But I mean, if it is another holding, that's another 10 yard penalty. And there is a flag on the spot of the reception, so we'll also see what that flag is. It could be a holding and maybe even pass interference, we'll see. So again, still waiting for the announcement from the refs. But this is just, this has got to be a, a, a mental bo uh, killer for the Eagles right now as they are making some of the most entertaining plays of the games and they just get it knocked right back with penalties. So we'll see again what the refs decide, but it's looking like it will not at all be in the favor of the Eagles due to the placement of the players right now. We'll see what they say. And again, as we have this time on our hand, let's give another shout out to Josue Vasquez at Focus Springfield for holding the fort down at the station. And again, another shout out to Alejandro Cameron and Brendan Holland for holding it down here and making all of this possible. So third down will be replayed. Looks like all those penalties end up canceling themselves out. So that is definitely beneficial towards the Eagles. So third and nine again. Third and 10. Scoreboard keeps misleading me. I gotta just go with my gut. So third and 10 for the Eagles. They need another huge play. They need to just get past this sequence right here. Because this three and out that they have gone through has just been miserable for them. Watson, alone in the backfield, looking for a deep ball. Throwing it out deep to Griffin. Joseph Griffin unable to hold on to it and a phenomenal stop by the defense as that was just a great, great presence from Colton Williams. Fourth and 10 and Griffin unable to hold it on in as what could have been a huge, huge reception for the Eagles. Just seems like Griffin couldn't bring that in for him. Williams just there. 
as he was able to kind of tip it out last minute. Fourth and 10 for the Eagles. Brendan Guy set out to punt. So now this is gonna be scary for the Eagles. Going into the fourth quarter, they're gonna have a lot of time to get back into the scoring end. They're gonna fair catch it. And they will get the ball a little past the 10. So first and 10 for the Raiders. Take place on the 15 yard line. Twenty-seven seconds to go in this quarter. Almost into the closing minutes of the game. So we will see how the Raiders can do on this drive. Pereira, quick pass outside. As it is complete. And there will be a little gain on that play. And now for the Raiders, they will let the clock die down for this third quarter as they will start off the fourth in different positioning. And now a seven point game for the Raiders, 22 to 15, the Eagles are up, but the Eagles haven't scored since the second quarter. So now for the Eagles, they are obviously just going to want to come up huge on defense here. After they let up a huge score on the last drive, and then the offense wasn't able to bring it in, they're going to want to definitely get this together for them. So yeah, the Eagles this year have had a phenomenal record as well as the Raiders. So as I was saying earlier, it's like every time I kind of try to get into it, um, there is some sort of play that happens. So, the Eagles this year have been on a monstrous roll as they have been back to their normal ways of putting on some very big blowouts as well as the Raiders. For the Eagles this year, their biggest losses of the season were to the Central Catholic Raiders. Um, and also to IMG Academy. They lost a big game to IMG, but after that, they were able to come back and get onto a nice little hot streak again. And now, to start off the fourth quarter, second and seven for the Raiders. We'll see what Pereira and his offense is doing. You have to definitely praise Adamopoulos as he has been leading his boys very strongly into the end zone and also very smartly. So now, back to the left to him. Pereira on the snap. Quick pass attempt was for Preston Zinter, but it is incomplete. So now third and seven on the 18. This is going to be a huge play right here for the Raiders. They're gonna to need to capitalize on this, as well as the Eagles are gonna to need to step up huge right here as well. Now this being the second time Focus has covered Gillette Stadium for the MIAA State Championships, it is just incredible to be here in this atmosphere and especially for these young men to play on the stadium. Now, back to the field, Pereira getting ready for the snap. Third and seven, Pereira on the QB keeper, quickly stopped as that was a great, great defensive present from Bryce Gentry Warwick as he makes sure that he didn't get through that gap and Pereira is stopped immediately. Fourth and 10 after the loss. So now fourth and 10, the special teams unit is out there for the Eagles. Getting ready to punt it. 
And it's a, a great punt from the Raiders, as that was that was a beautiful punt, no doubt about it. And that was Ty Canistero. And so now the Eagles will take over on the 23, thanks to that great punt from the Raiders. First and 10. Now the Eagles are gonna have to once again demonstrate some high offense and be able to capitalize, simple as that. Watson, single back formation with Thomas there. On the quick handoff, Thomas can't fight his way through that D line as they stop him quickly. Thomas able to get three yards on that one, bringing up second and seven. Ball on the 26, 10.40 to go in this game. Here at Gillette Stadium, this is one of the most important games for every single one of these players on the field's football career, especially high school football. Now a lot of these guys have played here before due to their teams just being on a hot streak throughout the last four years of the organization especially the Eagles, as they are looking for their third consecutive appearance and win. Watson throwing it out deep for Griffin, but it is a long shot as it is incomplete and over Griffin's head. Watson's Wasn't pass. able to yeah, speed up to get there. So now that will be third and seven for the Eagles. As it looked like it was a, a, a good pass, just a little out of reach. For sure, a little out of reach. So third and seven, they're gonna need to make a big play. Whistle's blown, timeout for the Eagles. Maybe think over, make a last, or a couple last minute changes to the game plan as they go right into this third and seven in desperate need of a score. They need to make sure that they can extend this lead, but also, you know, continue to dominate defensively. Because after what we saw them on that last drive show out with, I mean, that was, that was incredible. That's exactly how you want your defense to play. You want them to, to stop the run and also stop the passing. And that's exactly what the Eagles did leading to the possession they have now. So now third and seven, you don't want to go third and out. I mean, I'm not a genius, and that's not something that isn't common knowledge. So obviously you don't want to go third and out, but especially in the fourth quarter with a six point lead. And a nice reception for the Eagles as that was Kevin Jackson. And I also realized my math is terrible. A seven point lead, not six. But a big first down for the Eagles as Jackson hauls that in. First and 10 ball on the 36. Less than 10 minutes to go as it seems like they will take their time a little, but also make sure they got the right game plan down. Watson getting ready for the snap in single back formation. Hand off to Thomas. And that seemed like a big stop right there for the Raiders. As it's like he walked into a brick wall and couldn't go too far after that. We also noticed number three, Tykerian Daniels for the Eagles on the sidelines, getting some attention there. Hopefully he is okay. Second and seven for the Eagles. Ball on the 40 again.
And we'll see now, the Eagles want to play it safe here. In the single back, handoff to Thomas. Thomas, spin move, but gets taken down. And a big stop right there, bringing up third and six. So third and six for the Eagles. They're gonna need to capitalize again and get a first down just to keep this game in comfort mode. And so now time winding a little down. Eight, less than eight minutes to go in this game. Third and six, Watson getting ready to call for the snap. He has his receivers lined up and is running back to the right of him. Watson to Griffin. Griffin able to hold up and push for the first down. So a huge play for the Eagles and an even bigger one for Watson and Griffin. And as I mentioned earlier, it's always nice to bring up duos in high school. We saw some great connections today between Aiden Pereira and Ty Canestrero. But throughout this regular season, Central has been blessed with Joseph Griffin and William Watson as their QB and wide receiver duo. Now back to the field, Watson getting ready to send that snap. Stalling, maybe calling for an audible. Moving around, motion. And now Watson, first and down on this fresh set. First play right here, Watson handoff to Thomas. Thomas found a little burst of speed at that end, accelerating nice, getting a little gain for the Eagles. So second down will come up. After that six yard gain, second and four for the Eagles. And Thomas heading towards the sidelines. And now for the Eagles to send some help in that backfield for Watson. They'll have Shondez Buchanan. So Buchanan in the backfield to replace Thomas as he is hurt right now and also to help the Eagles. And another handoff as Buchanan kind of rips it right down the middle on a nice little rush for them. Will bring up third down, but got some yardage there for a fact. So two yards. And that will be third and two coming up. And now Tykerion Daniels will be back in the backfield for the Eagles. So third and two, ball on the 45. Five minutes, 45 seconds to go. The Eagles taking their time. This is the most important drive now once again as they just need to get on the scoreboard. Handoff for the Eagles, for Daniels. And it will be fourth down. Looks like it was first, but it was only a yard gain. So he wasn't able to. That's a tough one. I, obviously, we're not Fox or CBS, so we don't have the yellow line during the, the, the plays, so we can't see exactly how far out he was. So now fourth and one, they're going for it. They've got big backs in the backfield. And a big run to solidify that first down. It was Thomas. So now the Eagles with a huge, huge conversion right there. First and 10, ball on the 42. Ball on the 42. And we'll see where they go with this now. Four minutes remaining in the game. And the Eagles have done a phenomenal job of chewing this clock right now and really preserving time. But also moving the chains. So now Watson with a handoff to Thomas. Thomas stays up, 
and another big gain for the Eagles as it will be a second down, but only a second and one. So for the Eagles, once again, to touch on how impactful their run game has been this year. This year they have 33 total rushing touchdowns. And uh, 15 of those coming from Tariq Thomas, seven from Pop Watson, and six from Tykerion Daniels. So now second and one. They're gonna hand it off to Thomas and he reads the blocks. And there's a flag on the play and a swarm of Raiders players take him down. Second and one will now be changed up a little due to the flag. We'll wait for the call. So now, again, we'll see what is called. The booing does not signal too much greatness for Central, so we'll wait and see. Oh. So an illegal formation on the Eagles. We'll come back to bite them. Five yard loss, second and six for the Eagles. The fans are letting their opinions be heard. Of course, one of the toughest jobs, refereeing. Second and six for the Eagles. It's now timeouts being taken. Time kind of being, you know, chewed and milked by the Eagles right now and it's it's just a safe bet but also impressive to pull off. It's not easy to, to chew the clock. That's what people don't realize. You have to convert your first downs to chew the clock. You're not going to be able to chew the clock on one you know three and out. You're going to have to keep getting first downs but slowly and surely. And you also want to obviously limit your out of bounds takes and all that stuff. And that's what the Eagles have done on this drive. Three minutes, 18 seconds to go. Timeout over. Penalty affected. Second and six for the Eagles. Watson with the handoff. And a little gain right there. Bringing up third down. Central Catholic will take another timeout. So they will have one more remaining now. So again, them catching on to the, 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 the clock chewing, wisely calling the timeouts. And this is where chewing the clock gets difficult. Third and six, coaches taking their timeouts. You're gonna have to step up big time here and get that first down. Now again, just this game has been filled with some phenomenal plays. We've seen Ty Carrion Daniels get a huge receiving touchdown. And also Watson rush it on in for a touchdown. And as well as Tariq Thomas rush it in for a touchdown. Now for the Raiders, we saw twice. Aiden Pereira throw it on deep down to Ty Canestrero to the end zone. It is just so live here right now. Third and six, Watson ready to snap. He's gonna keep it. He's gonna look for a man and he throws it as Guy couldn't remain his balance. He fell before he could get there. So the pass is incomplete. Fourth and six. We'll see what the Eagles decide to do here. But with 3.03 remaining, it's looking scary for the Eagles without a score right here. We'll say that for sure. 3.03, ball on the 36. William Watson is staying.
looking for a deep snap. So we'll see how this one plays out. Again, fourth and six. This is huge. They need this conversion big time. He has Griffin lined up on the right. Watson, scrambling a little, but also keeping his distance. Throwing it out deep to Griffin, and there's gonna be a flag thrown on that one. Griffin was without a doubt. Pass interference. We'll have to see. But there is a flag on that play. We'll have to see what comes out of that. And that is huge for the Eagles right now. Defensive pass interference, automatic. First down, as Griffin was definitely contacted from Matthias, or, um, Matthias uh, Latham. So now first and 10 for the Eagles. 2.55 to go. They are on the 21 yard line. This is exactly what they needed. So now Watson handoff to Thomas. Thomas stopped quickly and I will say I have to give the Raiders some huge props on their rush defense lately. These last quarters, they have been able to come up big on some rush stops. And they take their final timeout. Um, definitely a necessity right now. You just need to make sure that they can stop this clock because stopping the clock as much as you can is going to be huge to get it back into your possession. This is going on to be a 10 minute drive for the Eagles. Um, so it's very impressive if they can continue what they're doing right now. So now each team's ready to go back on and pick up where they left off. Second and eight. Within the 20 yard line, ball on the 19. And I don't even think I need to say they need a score anymore. Viewers, you must be aware. And speaking of the viewers, you are tuned into Focus Springfield. This is Ciro Zanetti, and back to the field we go as Watson snaps it. And there is a false start. So another penalty for the Eagles. The dead ball. And so 2.48 again on the clock. So a big loss on that false start right there. Second and 13. Is, it looks like right now we have somebody on the field. And of course we're just waiting for them to get kicked off. So we can continue this action. Very mature. And they will obviously be stopped. And oh, they, <laughs> they're running in the back. I don't think this guy thought this through, but anyway, <laughs> a little entertaining for sure. Um, <laughs> as two minutes and 48 seconds is where we are right now. Second and 13 on a deep yardage situation. Watson off the handoff again, and a big stop right there as, you know, Tariq Thomas ran into a brick wall right there. That was Matthias Latham on the stop. Big hit from Matthias Latham. Third and 10 on the four yard gain. So now third and 10 is brought up again. 
Two minutes remaining in the game in. There's the run as it will not definitely be a first down. But Thomas got some nice yard gainage there. So fourth and nine. It's looking like the update right now. Less than two minutes to go. As time is winding down, this game is obviously getting to kneel time. So they're going to need to get a first down here. Because if they can get a first down here, they don't even need to score. And there's another flag. And there is another penalty on the offense for a delay of game. So fourth and 13. And the Eagles, again, if they can convert this fourth down, that would be substantial for them right now. They are up seven points. So if they do not make this and the Raiders can get the ball back and score and convert, they lose, simple as that. So this is where the clock chewing method gets scary. Watson looking for an open man. Flag on the play, but the pass is complete for a touchdown to Tariq Thomas. We will wait to see what the flag is, but a phenomenal catch from Thomas. And the offense is called with another flag. So the offensive holding will bring up another attempt for the Eagles to convert on fourth and apparent 32. The ball will be placed in the 43 yard line. It is fourth down and 32. So this is when you punt because you have been put into a definite predicament that you do not want to be in. Brendan Guy on the punt. Nice distance on it. That will be pinned right before the 20. And again, for the Eagles, I mean, that was just a phenomenal drive. Ultimately ending not in their favor due to that yellow flag. And of course, that is something that they can control. It's not always the referees not one to be like that. Uh, the Eagles have to definitely make better decisions throughout those replays. There is a lot of holding for sure. Um, just y you're seeing a lot not being called. So that's the thing. It's, it's looking very picky choosy, but the Eagles will have to definitely stop with the penalties. And now Pereira alone in the backfield. Big time stop from the Eagles on a swarm of central players, again, making their presence be known. But ultimately, that was Zachary Jones on the sack. Second and 19, 37 seconds to go. They're gonna have to call it. A launch of a pass is intercepted by the Eagles. And what a play from the star wide receiver Joseph Griffin, or sorry, as he gets to the crib, there's a flag on the play. As Joseph Griffin's flag, or as if Joseph Griffin just put on his first touchdown of the night, a pick six, we'll wait to see what the referees call this. A blindside block on the Eagles, so that looks like it will keep their possession though. The interception is there. They're calling for the field, as that is looking to be the game ending penalty slash play. Will not be a touchdown, but with 18 seconds to go, Zero timeouts on Catholic Memorial's side of things. You do have to play. 
at least one snap after a penalty. So after that snap, they will most likely, well not most likely, hopefully they will kneel it because that's all you have to do to solidify your spot as the Division I State Championship. Eagles to snap. And ladies and gentlemen, for the third consecutive year, the Springfield Central High School Golden Eagles are state champions, but this time it's a little bittersweet because they are Division I state champions. Your final score of the game, 22 to 15, and what a game. You gotta give props to the Raiders as Aiden Pereira played very well up until that last drive and as well as the Eagles playing very well. They are your Division I state champions here at Gillette Stadium. Ladies and gentlemen, you are tuned into Focus Springfield. This is Ciro Zanetti. I am your play-by-play -play announcer, and I hope you have enjoyed our state football Division I championship.